Hi, so I am now going to show you how to make a stick figure clip art character on GIMP. So what I'd like you to do is to open GIMP and hopefully the layers bar will pop up as well. And you should also have the tool options, which is right here. So that's the tool options that should pop up. And this is basically just the size of the brushes and the types of brushes that you can use. So I'm going to be using just the solid circle and I'm going to make it put it right down to about five so the size is five and it's going to be solid but I need to actually make my page so I'm going to go under file and I'm going to go under new and in the template click on the down arrow and it will show you all the varying different sizes that you can opt for you always see the size is pretty standard. I'm going to use A4, which is just a little bit bigger than the US Alicia, and I'm going to make it a portrait. So I've got A4 up there. It's in portrait. Now I'm going to advanced options. And I am I've got some more of a dialog box here. Um, I'm going to look at the background colour because I want to make it white. So I'm going to make it white there. And I just press OK. There's my A4 sheet with a white background that is perfect for me to sketch on. And as you can see in the layers, that is the very first page and it's the background that I'll be looking at. So let's just sketch on here. Here's my pencil on there. I'll drag over that one again so that's what it looks like, moving it out of the way. And then I'm going to draw freehand, free and easy. I'll just bring it back actually, I'll just show you. When you go down, you'll see smooth stroke. You can click on it, and it should go smooth stroke. But I'm not really wanting to do that. So the quality could enhance the quality, and the weight, which will slow it down, make it a lot smoother. But I don't really mind about anything to do with smoothness at the moment because I'm just drafting a sketch first of all. So I'm going to make a circle, the face first. I always start off with the heads for some reason, but kind of easy. There's my face and I'm going to make a big googly eyes, a bit of a nose and a smiley mouth. Okay now if I wanted to get really technical and actually make everything line up properly now I'm just going to add on the body. You can make another layer but I'm just going to keep it on the one layer because this is my one sketch. So this person is going to be a girl. She's going to have two legs with big feet. Like so. And she's going to have hands. Now of course she needs some hair. So I can just give her a bit of a fringe or some bangs. And then she can have like, not pigtails, but like cute little um, buns on each side. So this is my little girl and she's sort of like a stick figure. Right? That's really easy, it didn't take me any time at all. So you can either do this on paper, white paper, scan it, upload it to the machine and then open it under here. You just find it under open and then it should just open to a layer. But um, Or you can just do what I've done and just draw straight on the background page. Next step, I'm now going to open up another layer because I'm going to make my ultimate uh, page, my last page, my clip art character. Go to this little page at the bottom and this dialog box will, will pop up. It's a layer. So I'm going to go for transparent. If I make it white, I won't be able to see her underneath. Make this layer coming down here transparent. Everything else should be right. Okay. There's my layer. I need to click in there and um, let's. I might go back into background and just make the opacity less bright so I can see my work better. Click back into the layer that I'm working in and you can see that she's a little bit lighter which makes it easier for me to do my line art. Bring up the toolbox, go down to paint, brush and I've it at five and I want to make a nice and thick so I'm going to go up to 20 
and I need it to be nice and smooth. So if you go down to the bottom, you'll see smooth stroke. Okay, so smooth has now been ticked and the quality should be right up here to 100. The weight, I'm going to put that up around about there, or two, 600, point, you know, 626, but I just look at where I want it. And that's it. I'll move this out of the way. And here's my girl. And make sure I'm back on the layer I need to be. Come down here because it's too small for me to work in. So I'm going to make it bigger, about 50% more. That makes it better um, for me to work in if I'm working at that, that side. So I'm going to start at the head and move right around. And then I'm just going to keep going. Um, I don't use any pass or anything like that. I just use the brush. By the way, just letting you know, the, um, the I am using a tablet, but it's really cheap. It's a genius that would cost about 50 bucks. American, brand new. In my country, it cost me 100. Um, it's pretty rudimentary. It's not like a Wacom tablet, which you get pressure zones on there. You can work with that. Mine's really, really basic, and my pen is, you know, it's okay. It's okay for what you want to do. I'll show you a picture of it. Now, I've gone over here, but you can always rub that out later. Boom, bada boom, boom, boom. So I'm now going to fill in the rest of the lines and make it quick for you to see. If you make a mistake, which I have here, go up to Edit and Undo Paintbrush. Continue. Of course, you can you always use a mouse. And now for the Happy Babe. Well, and I'm now using Shift to get a straight line. And I'm going to draw my own hand in here. I can always pick the circle and make a circle, but I won't for this hand. Over here, I'm going to show you how to do make a circle. So you just click automatically over here, draw the circle, let go. You'll see that it sort of goes all um, highlighted there. So go under Edit, go right down to Stroke Selection. And I'm going to stroke this at around about 15. That should work out perfectly with the other arm. And then press stroke. Um, that's what it ends up being. And then go under select and none. And that should make a perfect circle. That then shift and drawing. You can use that with your mouse or your pen with your tablet. Um, so that made a perfectly straight line. Now I'm going to do the same for the bottom of the dress. And I'm not going to lift up the shift key. I'm going to keep it down to make a triangular shape. Let's go down and do the legs. Do the legs on this side. And then I'm just going to add on the big shoes over this side. It's not perfect. And same with our other feet. Let's hopefully hope I get this the same on both sides. One of my next videos, I'll show you how to duplicate this layer so we'll get a perfect boot on both sides. Now it's not perfect as you can tell. Um, I'm now going to go over to bring the toolbox over. And pink thing is the rubber. So I'm going to rub that out. And I'm going to make that join up. Go back to the uh, paintbrush, make it join up. It's still not perfect. Go back to the rubber and rub it out. Or eraser. Like we call it a rubber over here. Um, go back to the brush. Um, so there basically is my little girl. Let's put some irises in there or um, people. Probably an iris of some kind. Now, I'm going to make her small so that you can see her better. There she is. Pretty easy. Now I'm going over to layers, bringing layers back in. 
and I'm going to hide the bottom layer because I no longer want to see all those little fine lines. And there she is. There is almost my finished work. I'm going to need to do some touch-ups. So I'll show you what I'm doing for touch-ups. This is not the best drawing because the hair really sucks, but you get my drift. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to just draw some sort of shoes, sort of girly shoes, try to anyway. Um, um, this is my add to, so I'm just adding to as I go through. Obviously this is far from perfect, but you get my drift. Um, and now we're about ready to colour her in. Let's have a look. So we'll go over to the bucket. And down below you'll see all the bigger spots, which will bring up this dialog box. And I'll make that green, so I'll tap onto green, press the OK. And OK, should work. And then redo bucket fill, and she's got a lovely green dress. Go back into the green here. So I want some red shoes, I think. So I'll go down to red here. I'll move this up to the red. OK. And whenever that happens, I know that I'm in the wrong layer, so I need to move that. Ah, perfect, perfect. Right, so let's make her skin color, whatever color you want, dark brown light. I always do a mixture. If I'm doing a clip art set, I always have at least a few kids of color in there. Let's get rid of the solid round circle and get back in there. Away. Oh, there you go. And I always choose this little dot there. And I make it quite big, about 120. Oh, or yeah, 114 is fine. And I've always got to make, I'll start with the skin colour. So if I wanted to, if I've lost the skin colour on this palette, which I haven't, but just let's say I have, all I need to do is grab the picker. Click on, on the area you need it to pop up and it will come down here. And so it's already there anyway. So, um, But I'm going to make this that dark and press OK. So go back to the spray pen and now I'm going to start with a little bit of um, shape. So on and so on. I'm going to do the same with the green now. And underneath here. Yeah. Now I'm going to use black. Let's go down here. And I'm sort of going to give a bit of dimension here. Let's just say the light source is right in front of us, which usually it's coming down. So it gives it a little bit of dimension here. You can even do the hair, the head. To make it stand out just a bit more. Now I am going to get some white or some light. So let's click back into that. And I always go over to the white and go back to this brush. But the opacity could be a bit bright, way too bright. Here it's at 100. Let's make it go around about 20 or 30. Move that out the way, and I need to make it a little bit bigger. I think. But let's have a look. Yes, I do. So I'm going to make my size larger. That one should be fine. That's fine. That's good. So it gives her a little bit of three dimension here. It's not over the top highlighted. Um, and then we can do the same for her shoes. Just so that the light source is hitting her shoes there, right in front of her. And I quite like doing this to the hair. This is kind of fun. Make the size bigger. And it's just to say, oh, this one's shining in front. 
Here we go. So this is almost the finished product. We need to make sure that when our clip art is being used, that it's the four parts of this character that is actually being used and we're not using the whole frame of the page. So an easy way of um, doing that or bringing it down just to the edge of the character is go to image. So we've got the image and you go down to auto clock image. What happens here is that it's perfectly framing the character. So you've got no extra space that you don't need when you're putting her onto a poster or something like that. And there is basically the clip art. She's on a transparent background and she's being made. All I need to do now is to save her. And so you go to File, X. To save her is to go up to File, Export, call it Little Girl Clip Art or what have you. And it's going into Documents. Then you go down here and you press Export. I'm replacing it because I've already done this just before. Export and there it goes. You can always find it in documents or pictures or desktop wherever you choose to save her. I'm going to show you one picture of how I've used her. Part on a cover page that I'm going to use for a teaching resource. How to use our manners in class. And so she's looking all cutesy wootsy on my PowerPoint. Okay, cheers. Thanks so much for watching guys. I've got other videos on how to use GIMP and make clip art and all the tips and tricks you might need to use. Thanks so much, Mel from Fun Creative.